What's up guys, this is Shana and we are at Emporis Kota Damansara today. Uh, it's a very very wet morning but check it out. So Emporis right, it's one five minutes walk away from MRT station and it's a mixed development so it means that there's retails, there's malls and there's residents in the same building. Today is another collaboration with an audience and let's go. We are now in the ground floor at the retail area where there's Jaya Grocers and there are some salons that has just moved in some cafes but overall it looks very nice because of the natural daylight from above so there's a skylight every time when i want to invest in a mixed development and there's retail on the bottom i will always ask what's the strategy for the retail some developers will hold it entirely some developers will hold the anchor position so that they can bring in starbucks la, grocers la, the cafes la. but some developers who are less cash rich then they will need to really dispose them all at once and that is a dangerous thing to do so there's actually like three stories of uh, offices and some are facing inside right the internal courtyard and some are actually facing outside but overall you look into the corridor space you look into the daylighting of the commercial areas i think it's pretty decent just that it opened on mco time <sighs> there's two ends to emporis and that's one that face all the commercial lots right and the row that's facing all these lots is the one that's opening the fastest lot. And we spoke about this many many times where the initial stage of commercial lots, what comes in first are mamas, dobies, grocers and etc. Slowly only you have like appointment basis like dental, tuition and stuff like that. This is the refuse chamber. It's a rather large one. Right means that it's ventilated and the window is huge. And one observation, you have all the factory lots, that means job opportunities which is good for rental. The area where the utilities are, the developer choose to just like cement render the floor. Then there's 12 units per floor sharing 4 lifts. So I've checked the ceiling height is 2.6. The corridor width is 2.6. Very comfortable because of the layout, right? The leaf lobby will constantly be dark. And the problem with no skirtings is you have things like this at the edge or exposed. Uh. Coming into this wing, there's only four units on this side. So it's a rather private corner. And every entrance to the unit is like a hidden pathway. It's not opening this side. This provides better privacy. If not, you open the door, right? Everybody can see. Let's go check out the unit. They just moved in. <laughs> Coming into the unit, this is the kitchen. It's a linear space, it's just a short 2.6 width kitchen. And this is your fridge, and they provide the gar hood and hop. It's a very workable one, especially for modern people like myself la. if you want to grab anything right that's just nearby commercial areas or there's a mall downstairs and this is a unit that they bought as a home congratulations on a new home thank you for sharing your unit with us and let's continue this is the dining this is the living so this is rather short and the ceiling height is 2.7 there's three bedrooms one two Right, and that's a principal bedroom on this side. Let's go check out the smaller rooms. This is going to be the study area. So this audience got this unit, 900 over square feet for 626,000, which is relatively lower in comparison to the Tropicana Gardens that we know. Hence, it's very surprising to see a 5-10 minutes difference, right? It can make a lot of difference in terms of the price per square feet. So in the room, I like that the box up is very tidy for all the utilities, right? And moving on to the next room, because this room is rather small, they converted it into a walk-in wardrobe instead. The owner's collector of the John Mayer holding key collaboration on Casio. G-Shock way. Moving on, this is the defect that we found just now, right? Because it's an internal toilet, hence you will need a mechanical ventilation. And this is the defect where you can hear it perfectly loud and clear. 
So everything else besides the mirror and the cabinet, the rest is all provided by the developer. So that's very nice, including the furnishes and tiling design. Just that workmanship wise, not as detailed. It's kind of crude in terms of the furnishings. Then we check out the principal bedroom and you can see that it's very far away. Like from the window to the entrance, right? It's a very elongated unit. And what I really like about this unit, right, it's a joint effort by a couple where they really go and search like 20 over units to look for that ideal home for both of them. It's really a lot of communication between two parties. This unit is furnished by Easy Home and here nicely you can put in a queen size bed and bedside tables and you still have a lot of space here. You still have circulation space and that connects you to the same balcony. So the owners and all are still hanging out there. Okay, checking out the principal bathroom. Again, it's a defect. The sound is just too loud. So my comment would be, this is a little bit too narrow. 2.6, standard is 3 meters. At least it's a full size window. But I like the treatment though. You look at this. This really saves a lot of space and it just merged the two space together. Check out the size of the balcony. Yeah. So it's a 4 feet balcony. You can see the train tracks the commercial areas, the factories, and the reserve. The only thing I find weird is this balcony, right? Connecting all spaces, the living room and the two bedrooms. So if you are actually sharing rooms, right? This layout doesn't really provide privacy because I can just look in, right? They actually put out a space for you to put your compressors as well as your washing machine. To place your washing machine outdoors, uh, not sure. I'm not sure, build handrails. If you look into the slabs, it's rather thin. They're using some flat slab system, so the entire structural layouts for the unit is actually very, very tidy. And I guess that's all for the unit. Um, let's go check out the facility deck. So now we are in the Sky Lounge and what you're seeing now is the entire Kota Damansara. So you have the MRT station there where Thompson Hospital is. Then you can see Tropicana Gardens at here. Then you can see the Dash Highway is cutting right across this development. You have this amazing nature view here. So this is the Hutan Simpanan, the forest reserve. But closer to the highway, you have all this low cost. It's just something to take note. And all those will be your background while hosting your friends in this lounge. We are now in the facility deck and it feels great. Some are artificial, some are real. The landscape treatment is not your usual commercial treatment stuff. It's a little bit more fine. But their main challenge will be to hide these industrial areas. Next to that will be a sunken tennis court. And at the back will be my favorite, a half basketball court. And from the distance, you can see the forest reserve, which is very, very nice. This area is the main intersection between Dash, Perseran Surian, as well as NKVE. So it can get kind of crazy in the daytime. On the other side, this is the lab pool. It's very, very nice. Every island of planters are actually treated very, very finely. There's a mixture to actually add volume to the landscape. Check out that wall. It's so well done. Next to that will be this multi-purpose hall. And it's full glass, so it's going to be pretty bright. Next to the pool, across this deck, you have the kids wading pool. And that's your barbecue area. At the far end, you have this landscape area, which is just amazing. So you have the willows, you have Cambodia. So just a slow walk here in the facility deck worth a lot of money. If you are just feeling cramped in the unit, right? Just come and take a walk across all these landscapes. It's just amazing. And with that, uh, let's go to Sean Deck 3 on 3. So three things I really like. Number one, definitely the facility deck. Pool, the gym, the 
tennis court and the basketball court right really just stands out by using landscape and I think it's very smart because the surrounding is not as great so what the landscape architect did is they actually heavily plant across the edges hence residents focus to be more on the inside number two the convenience of the location when you walk down there's a mall when you walk a little bit further there's commercial areas you can drive Tierra Damansara or you can just drop by Tropicana Gardens Giza area or if there's not enough right, you can just take the dash highway or you can take the NKVE out to KL very very convenient third point this is a very good investment type of property like in the same road Perseran Surian we have seen Tropicana Gardens which is like 1,002 per square feet but here you almost half of that price but you basically share almost the same thing just that the only difference is direct access to the MRT here you still have the Thompson Hospital the three KDU International Schools and the abundance of job opportunities here so the three not so good things in my opinion number one is the low cost housing right in front and the amount of retails as well which is like point number two they open it during smack MCO days hence the shops all cannot open if not it will be more of a neighborhood mall where the workers around here can just come and grab lunch not as heavy as the garden small but this is going to be like a smaller scale more F&B focus which I really like as a resident but just that at this current state if you were to come in you will just feel disappointed lah. and last of all the unit scale the width is like 2.6 the height is 2.6 the corridor width is also 2.6 and the unit layout is a little bit deep from the balcony over to the kitchen wall is quite deep hence when you're off all the lights right it's going to be really really dark then the small room is very small although they compensate by giving you a extravagant balcony right but it compromises privacy in different rooms so i think that's all for the visit right what do i think of it from the outside like through the hustle and bustle of the ongoing construction work for the dash highway as well as the new block surrounding right it's pretty difficult to imagine that the facility there is so nice I'm seriously just taken away, especially the landscape treatments. It's amazing. Again, shout out to the owner for sharing his unit with us. Congratulations on your new home. Thank you very much for sharing. And if you really like this episode, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Sean Tan. Very wet morning. Ciao.